Well, that was fun to watch last night at the Fort Sight Fieldhouse. And last week, of course, was the transition week between full bore winter sports and the end of the fall sports season. Zach Keith highlights both, putting together our latest installment of Layfeld Welding Top 5 Plays. We kick this week's top five off with two state runner-up trophies. Want to congratulate the Coldwater Cavaliers, big touchdown here, and also the Minster Wildcats. Two very successful campaigns capping off the season the final day in Columbus. At the four spot, we get our first taste of hoops heading to the tip-off classic. Time winding down to the third. Bass Harrison Goff plays beat the buzzer and wins. D3 ends the quarter. We'd be busy at the Elida tip off this top five. Speaking of which, number three, LCC's Mark Janowski. First slam down low, and then Janowski picking up the loose ball. And he's taking it all the way in, the dunk and the foul. Nice all-tournament performance by number 44 as we take a second look on your slow motion Lynch to replay. One last time at the tip-off classic, it's Bath again, it's Goff again on the fast break. Taking on LCC, the vicious throwdown. We need to look at that one again as well. A tight contest, and this is a big one that puts Bath up by one. Speaking of one, how about the number one spot? Back at the Horseshoe in Columbus, Marion Loco in a hectic game. Second half, seemed like the momentum was going against them until the sophomore Matt Rethman makes the clutch. One-handed interception. The Flyers win the state title, their fifth in six years, getting them back on track after losing it in this final game last year. We want to congratulate all the MAG teams on a fantastic season, and thanks to all of our football players out there. That's been your Layfield Welding Top 5 Plays. 